Splotched. Can I do it? No. A mathematical game played on a field of two perfect squares using three perfect spheres and a lot of diamonds. In other words, billiards. Oh, boy. That's for me. You know the game, don't you, Donald? Of course. The two balls to the other two balls. Like this. Now let's see how an expert at three cushion billiards uses his head. He figures out each shot in his head. He could play it like this, but it calls for quite a bit of luck. There is a better choice. For this, he uses the diamond markings on the rail as a mathematical guide. First, he figures the natural angle for hitting the object balls. And then he finds that his cue ball must bounce off the number three diamond. Next, he gets ready for the shot, and he needs a number for his cue position. This calls for a different set of numbers. Very confusing, isn't it? Not when you get the hang of it. You see, the cue position is four. Now a simple subtraction. Three from four is one. So if he shoots for the first diamond, he should make it. It's called playing the diamond system. Natural angle, two. Cue position, one and a half, two, two and a half, three, three and a half. Two from three and a half is one and a half. So, shoot halfway between the first and second diamonds. Let's see now. If I hit it here, it'll bounce there and go uh, here. If I hit it here, four and a half minus three, three and a half plus four and into two, uh, then it'll uh, divide it into uh, two. Uh, I guess I should shoot about here. No, no, Donald. There's no guesswork to mathematics. It's quite simple. Natural angle for the hit. Two. Cue position. Three and a half. How much is three and a half minus two? Uh, one and a half. You're making it tough for yourself, Donald. How do you like that for my spirit? Wonderful.